Okay guys, so in this one we're going to be covering X and Y resolution within GIMP. Now uh, take a look at the scales we have going across these two different images I have pulled up here. They're both in inches as we can see down here in the bottom left, uh, zoomed in to 100%, but you can see that uh, the scale for one an inch is considered a lot less on this one than it is on this one. Basically, more space on the actual document itself is being quantified as one inch. And the reason for this is that I have the X and Y resolution set higher on this document than the other one. Now, what does all this mean? Well, what it means is that when you go to print one of your documents, one of the graphics that you've been making, if you have your X or Y resolution set higher as the pixels per inch or pixels per whatever, then uh, that document is going to print out a little bit nicer. It's going to have more data or more points uh, per inch on your printed document. So how you would actually do this is when you're creating a new image, as you can see right here, you can click on advanced options. It defaults to 72 uh, as the pixels per inch, same with Photoshop. But you'll notice, or you may notice if you watched other graphic design tutorials from other people, that um, a lot of them will actually set the X resolution higher. So it might, or X and Y resolution. So it might be 100, it might be 150, uh, which I would say is probably plenty good enough for most purposes. Um, and in some cases, even goes up to 200 or 300. Now, this is really only relevant if you're going to be printing documents. But if you plan to design anything high quality, like, let's say, a uh, poster, for instance, that may be going up on a storefront, then you probably want it to print in at as high a quality as possible. So when you start your new documents to work for that, um, you probably want to be working out of a high resolution per inch so that your finished document will not only look nice on your computer, but it will actually look nice when you go ahead and print. So this is just a quick tip for you. If you have any quality issues, try boosting up the X and uh, Y resolution. Now, one more thing I'll point out is that if you've already started your document, you can change the resolution in the print version. Uh, by going to scale image and you'll see the X and Y resolution here um, just the same you can change it the problem is if you change it after you've already worked with the document then you might have to scale certain elements of your document if you have say incorporated any images in it might mess everything up because you have to account for that higher resolution which might mean also increasing the actual number of pixels in your overall document or something along those lines. So it's always best if you have the pixel resolution uh, decided before you start working on your GIMP image. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.